Hi, my name is Allison Wicky. I'm a local artist, and we are in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, in the beautiful village of Grayton Beach. Grayton Beach, as far as I know, is one of the oldest established parts of the 30A corridor. It was um, the first place to actually have electricity. It is the most famous and most beloved part of 30A, for sure. So our beaches here are barren sand flats and it goes out forever, the Gulf of Mexico. There's really nothing here. I've never seen a rock in our water. So uh, SWARA, the South Walton Artificial Reef Association, started putting artificial reefs under to help uh, give a habitat to our marine life. As soon as the one off Great and Beach was deployed, I was out there within a week. I could not wait. I swam out there and I was just like, this is amazing. I was like, why aren't we doing sculptures out there? So I presented the idea to the board of the Cultural Arts Alliance. I saw faces light up in the meeting and it, the rest is literally history. Graydon Beach is a special spot right here along the Emerald Coast, and it's known as the Emerald Coast because of our emerald green water. We're about two minutes away from the beach where we launch. It just gives us almost instant access. So nice. Wow, we are a lot closer than I thought. So right here is Grayton Beach State Park, and right below us is the Underwater Museum of Art. After three different annual deployments, there are now 25 total sculptures down there. Once we described it to people and once we actually got some sculptures down there, this thing has absolutely blown up. It's a fantastic dive. The fish and all the marine life that we see down there are really, really impressive and it literally keeps growing every year. So if you are coming to the 30A area and you really want to see the Turtle Reef or go out to the Underwater Museum of Art, get in touch with your local dive shop around here and you can schedule yourself a scuba trip to go out to the Sculpture Reef.